Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Thursday, uh, this uh, November 21st. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Michael. Good to see you, Grant, Ed, Deb Fine. Good to see you, Phil, Rick, Cliff, everyone. All right, good, good. Neil, how's my buddy Neil? Neil, you enjoying that $5,000 profit you made the other day? Did you buy anything nice? I didn't get any photos. Kind of crackly loud. Let me lower it. Uh, yep, yeah, that's definitely a little too loud. There you go. Charles, good to see you, Bill. Tom, Grant, good, good, good. <laughs> All right, guys. So anyway, uh, another exciting day here at Cyber Trade University in the trading room. I've uh, got a nice little runner right here in HEPA. 8.30 move. I mean, where do you find these beautiful stocks? Right here. Look at this gorgeous stock. Went from 3.80 all the way to 4.30. I mean, I'm seeing orders everywhere on level four. It was just awesome. I saw some pops. You guys saw it. Listen, you heard me say in the trading room, just trade one damn share of the stock. One share, okay? Until you know what it's like to be in a position, then you'll know how to go up there. But don't be scared. You're not going to get hurt, you know, and... uh I mean, if you, you got to be in it to win it. Now, a couple of things. Obviously, we're going to talk about. There's a big merger talk going on right now. And I told you this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen with a TD Ameritrade and Schwab. If you go back and look at some of the recordings, we talked about it. When they made that, uh, that, that, that announcement, it was such coincidental they did it at the same time regarding about lowering their rates to free tickets. You know, made perfect sense. So we're going to talk about that. A lot of people made a lot of money in that stock. Uh, but before we do that, everyone, and start going into details, let's talk about what happened for yesterday. Because, listen, it's all about what happened yesterday that should get you excited to, to trade today. I mean, listen, there's a lot of things that moved yesterday, day before that, the day before that. Don't worry about it. Eventually, you know, you're going to hit the button. You know, in certain ones, you're going to get lucky on some of them. You know, remember, you 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 make your own luck when it comes to trading. Okay, it's not like uh, because you're at the right place at the right time. Hey, people says, oh, you got lucky on that trade. You know what? You know, it's like, oh, that guy's fortunate. He he's got he's got money and he's good. listen. You make your own luck. You're just at the right place at the right time. You just got to know where to look. Let's start off with some of the stocks that did really well yesterday. First of all, um, oh, and by the way, I am so ticked off remember yesterday's meeting i told you and what, what my broker oh my god i i was fuming fuming did you guys see the k the, the, the krtx you know what ever since they passed that rule that you can't do naked shorts anymore um my, my broker had no shares for let me to short but when this is the big winners you know Stock goes from thirty dollars to one fifty. Where do you see that? You know where you see it right here at Cybertrain University. Now, what did I tell you yesterday, the day before that? Hey, sometimes you know you miss these good runs. You know what? You can get on the short side. Unfortunately, sometimes you can't because your broke doesn't off to you. I said, you know what? I was trying to short that damn stock yesterday. You know, right around the one thirty. I did everything I can. They had no shorts to sell. Look where it is right now, ninety nine dollars. Where do you think the stock's going to end up shortly? Okay. Well, and I know it's funny. A few of you, even you can, right? You said you were trying to get the short. A lot of people couldn't get the short. You know, these guys, brokers got to give it to you. But anyway, don't worry about it. There's going to be plenty of more. All right, let's talk about what happened yesterday. So CGIX was a nice little mover right there. That was gorgeous in pre-market. Stock went from 250, I don't know, till 7. Great, great move. You had to get it early. Um, and then obviously made a nice little pop right around 1030. Again, from 450 to 750. So listen, you know what's in the trading room? When we do our commentating, you might hear us bounce around in certain stocks. You know, Josh might be looking at one stock. I might be looking at another stock. You know, Rich is looking at a different stock. You got to remember the reason why we do that is because we're only broadcasting one stock at a time. And some of you miss these big runs. So we're trying to give you other ideas to look at different ones. So if you feel like, you know, why are you talking about one and he's in the other? Because you know what? Some of you are not going to chase, and that's okay. It's nice to start with a nice little, you know, it's like somebody's fishing and they're hitting over there and like, oh, darn, I got that too late. And then we find another spot for you, you know, and that's where it is. But there were a lot of them that did move yesterday. That was one of them. CGC, another one. 
that one was one of my uh, – I like that one a lot. She moves a little volatile. She's got a little bit big spread. Remember I talked about this yesterday too. I said, you know what? This stock took a big hit from 45. It's down to 15. Stock's doing great. Look at that. She's breaking out again. Another nice little stock right there. Just be careful. The tier sizes are quite small. Look at the level three, and you'll notice that. That one is back on, our, on my watch list. Listen, we sometimes we have stocks that make big moves, and all of a sudden – we might trade, you know, we'll we'll, we'll trade it. Uh, we'll, we'll, fo we'll follow through through the next day. Another big. This was like a really quick one right here. This one just came out of the gate. You had to take your money and run. PDD. You know, let me tell you, good thing I trade that one. I got in and out of it pretty quickly. That one did pretty well. You know, everybody was talking about. Um, everybody talks about the retailers, and retailers were pretty big lately. Re uh, obviously, Target. Just a great company overall. You know, they do they do, they spend money. I mean, listen, the Target, Walmart, they're doing really well. They're doing great in this economy. You know, um, stock did really well. But you know what? I'm bringing it up because we really didn't trade this stock. Only a couple of you did trade it at 118 to 127. Why, you know, some of us are like, why should I tie up $127,000? Oh, I could trade an option. Listen can't afford the stock you can't afford to trade the thing is this but you all can afford to trade and that's why we find stocks like the HEP um, the HEPA stock that we found early this morning one last um, two other stocks I just want to talk about QD had earnings on Monday and just kept getting crushed there's another one listen the trend is your friend don't buck the trend we could probably keep an eye on it, maybe, but I don't know. I mean, you got to get a couple of days of the stock before we can get to it and think it's going to bounce. But like QD, um, one stock that I'm in right now is the Uber. All right, Uber, um, you know, stock had a huge push yesterday. You, you know, the news came out that the CEO sold a, a bunch of shares. Then news came out yesterday. Uh, an, the, another CEO bought like almost a quarter million shares, whatever, personally in his account because you got to report that. And the stock's been doing pretty well. So I own I own several thousand shares of the stock. Um, you know, and listen, I rarely, you know, that I don't do this. I rarely hold overnight positions, but I'm not looking at it as a day trade. I'm looking at this as a swing trade. I've been a swing trader, you know, for Uber for a long time. Big fan of it. And you know what? This could happen. Maybe Uber and Lyft might might do a, a merger. You don't know. How do I don't know? How do I know that? Because look what happened today with MT uh, uh, TD Ameritrade. Listen, I told you this was going to happen. If you go back in the October video, I said, listen, this is not a pharmaceutical stock. Okay, these things do come back. The stock when it made announcements with free tickets, people were like, what the hell's going on? Sure enough, the stock went from 46 all the way down to 34. It was a good swing trade on that aspect, and probably until it got to 35, 36, you could have you could have read between the lines. And you know what? If you were in this trade on a swing trade, guess what? You got lucky. You got lucky. Who knew? You know that that the, that the rumor was out there with the bot, you know, with, with a merger with Schwab. And you know what's so funny? You could have did the same thing with the Schwab trade. C A um, S C H W. Look at that one right there. Same thing. Stock got crushed, 43 down to 35. Once you see these things started breaking higher highs, they do great. Listen, I've been always been a fan of online brokers. Um, I told you the whole concept about the free trades. You know, and if you watch that video, you'll see why. Now the thing is this. It's over, okay? It's over. Don't worry about it. You know, obviously, uh, e TD Ameritrade's get, uh, I mean, E-Trade's not get, getting affected by it. They're not, uh, they're not liking that trade, you know? EFC, right? Is that the trade? Yeah, that's it. Uh, they all got into this whole thing, but this one's not really make that big of a deal. But, uh, don't sell, don't sell it then, Fausto. Oh, Graham, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, listen, you, you don't take a profit, you, you, you know, listen, regarding about that trade, you got to make money on the trade. Um, you didn't make anything until you sell it, right? But I say this all the time. I'm going to repeat it again. You want to be a good swing trade? You damn well better learn how to day trade first because it's the movement of what happens over the course of the day which trickles into a swing trade. And if you want to be a good options trader, you damn well better learn how to swing trade first, okay? But you don't want to be a poor man playing a rich man's game. Now, let's talk about some of the stocks that are doing pretty well. All right, so we got this one stock we already know about, the HEPA. Um, that stock has done really, really nicely for some of us. Great orders. I see a big 11,000 share seller sitting at 440 right now. 
Uh, it did back off a little bit. You could see it right around the – I mean, it was, a, it was a great trade right around 440. I mean, that thing just had a little bit of a bounce right there. But the stock has been doing pretty well. Let me change my time frame on here. Uh, it's getting a little bit more volatile right now, so I probably wouldn't jump into it. I want to see how the stock opens up. But if it holds here pretty strong at the highs, you know that by learning this in class, that's a very, very good sign. Another one that's moving. Oh, I, I had this on my watch list. Listen, just because my broker doesn't have it doesn't mean you can't short it too. But that KRTX, listen, we've seen this time and time again. CGC, I talked about that earlier. That's the stock that's been doing pretty well. Great, great swing trade so far. And, um, you know, once again, how do I know it's a swing trade? Because what happened yesterday? ACB, remember that one? That's another one that we found yesterday. Not only became a good day trade, now became a little bit more of a swing trade. That one's up too, 3 million shares. This stock, I said yesterday in, in class, I, you know, in class, in the trading room, this is a type of stock that if you're a level five trader, you could trade five, 10, 20,000 shares. I mean, look, 70,000 share orders out there. There's like a, there's a hell of a lot of shares that trade the stock to move the stock. Stock trades crazy volume. So kind of hard to follow on the level four when you see these big iceberg orders. A couple of stocks are getting crushed today. Good thing we sold this BJ's, right? Remember, we was I was such a big fan of BJ's. And you know what? I was trading in. And it was like, eh, you know, it was all over the place. Company just went public. You know, I made a little money. I kind of broke even, maybe lost. Lost a little bit on BJ's on a swing trade, but you know what? Might be a good buy here. Um, it's testing some good support levels. Another stock we traded yesterday, we did pretty well on, right? And look what happened to this one. Remember, I I was a big fan of I. We did really well on I, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take my money. Stock's not making its big move, and sure enough, good thing we did because look what happened. Stock backed off. Um, so you do got some support and resistance levels. It is making a little bit of a Fausto flag right there. You can see there's a 10,000 share seller sitting out here at 695, which is pretty much tying it up. Now, and last but not least, I just want to talk about Macy's. Macy's, you know, Macy's getting crushed. Macy's is testing some big support levels from last year. I don't think it's going to really be a good swing trade, uh, day trade right now. Could be a good swing trade, though, you know, at these prices. Because when I look at the history of what the stock did in the past, I mean, this stock was almost at $80 at one point. Um, fortunately, this is the time of the year when Macy's makes its most money. I actually just walked through and I saw their windows in Manhattan the other day. They just started decorating for Christmas. Uh, by the way, that cost them a fortune, by the way. But Macy's, I always feel like Macy's always in bankruptcy. You know what I mean? But somehow they always pull themselves out of it. But um, but listen, it's all about timing. $15 versus, you know, let me change this, slide. Let me change this right here. You can see what the long-term chart is. Uh, a weekly. I mean, you can see it. Stock really coming to some, some major support levels right here. Let me do a monthly. Look at that $70 stock. You can see it's coming to some support levels right here, going back in 2010 and so on. You know, listen, if it drops down to 10, listen, you don't got to trade a lot of shares of it. If it breaks below 10, then forget it, you know. But listen, it's been around forever. Uh, who knows? Sometimes you got to remember, sometimes stocks get so cheap that somebody will be like, maybe they do hostile takeovers. So, you, you know, you got to be a little diversified when it comes to that. All right, guys. So uh, anything I'm missing, I did not call out. Anything I'm missing? Uh, and Macy's gives a, gives a good dividend. Don't know how they do it. Well, Andrea, I mean, listen, remember the CSQ? Remember I told you about this stock, CSQ? I mean, I own it. I own I, I own tens of thousands of shares of this. I don't even want to tell you how many shares I own in the stock of CSQ. But remember CSQ? I told you to buy this stock. Um, I own this stock, and uh, this stock pays you an 8% dividend every single month. It pays you on the month. So it's 8% over the course of the year, but it pays you every month on the on the fourth. So that stock has been doing phenomenal. I know some of you guys do. But, so if there's any dividend stocks, I'd rather deal with these. A lot cheaper and a lot safer. Uh, all right, guys, so you got the watch list. Listen, today is a very, very big day. Once again, today's open house. Uh, we're going to be doing it at 12 o'clock. Come out there. You're not supposed to be trading at that time of the day. We're going to be doing some recruiting. We're going to do. We're going to interview, in, introduce everybody to Cyber Training University and Level Three and Level Four. So look forward to seeing you there. Uh, also next week, I will be on NASDAQ again. So we'll give you that link uh, so you guys can watch us. On I'm going to be doing a presentation on on Total View on NASDAQ. Uh, that'll be on t Tuesday, and then obviously we got Thanksgiving. So we still got a lot of good. 
volatility in the market. And then also Monday and Wednesday will be the phase three classes. All right, guys, listen, good luck today. Happy trading. I know we got a lot of stocks. Don't worry about it. There's always new that will come up and show up once the market opens up. And as we see them, we'll share them. And for all the new members that are here in the trading room, remember we tell you, please do not buy what we tell you. Just look, listen, and learn, all right? Because remember, trading's not for everybody, and that's a, that's okay. But you might like it. You just got to do it the right way. So see if it's for you. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading today. We'll see you. Uh, we'll be starting commentating in about 10 minutes.